Coach, can you talk about your goalkeeping situation? Yeah. Obviously, Carlos is away. Ryan's been dealing with injuries. What can we expect? Yeah, we have uh, now uh, Ryan and uh, AJ, uh, both uh, goalkeepers in our training, and uh, um, they made also in the last training session a good job. And uh, so this is then also our decision with with our goalkeeper coach then on uh, tomorrow and uh, or on Saturday then to to make the decision who will play on uh, on Saturday. Next to Anthony. Uh, Coach, um, you talked in the, after the last game about it being a learning experience. What were some yeah. of those lessons that you tried to impart on the team this week? Yeah, it's a little bit different because a lot of players uh, is, is away with their national teams. So then uh, we have also to be our focus, um, especially what uh, what was good the first uh, games. And uh, but we have to improve for sure this uh, this performance of the last game in uh, in Colombo, especially. And it was not the most problem in our defense behavior. The first goal was um, not good, our behavior in, in our back four. Um, but the most of the time was, uh, the, was the problem after winning ball in our transition and also the structure in our build-up situation. So this is what we have to improve. We talked about that in our training session and also in our video meeting. But now it's a little bit different to the Miami game because maybe we will play a new structure, Miami will play a new structure, a lot of new players. So this is the, to find the right balance and also to analyze the Columbus game and also to look forward for the Miami game. Thanks for the word. Coach, uh, you know, a lot of times you talk about depth on the team or the lack thereof. Uh, <clears throat> with the RB2 playing yesterday, uh, how is that making the decision to try to put together a team for this upcoming weekend? The, you mean the U.S. Open Cup game? That's yeah. It. yeah. Um, also, this is then, uh, for example, Zofo, Omar, Valencia. It's important to get minutes then in in a cup game and in a competition then. So and um, yeah, it's then for us. Uh, we we had the whole trainings week now with 15, 16 players for us, and uh, so this is then um, our group principles uh, which we need for Saturday, and um, also then some players who got the minutes yesterday and then we have to find a good mix then a good structure for Saturday against uh, Miami with uh, some young players could be could be a great experience also for us then to have this challenge against Inter Miami it's very difficult to prepare now only the 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 to analyze the Miami um, quality uh, so then it's a good option for us only to have the focus on our quality on our Players and this is the last days was the 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 main issue in our in our training session and it will be also tomorrow. Next one, JJ. Uh, Sandra, with the international call up and the injuries on the back line, is there any chance we see you guys from the two team come up or possible formation change going against Miami? Yeah, on Saturday is everything possible to be honest. Then <laughs> um, and uh, the last decision is also what we have. To do is uh, on Saturday then uh, to find our starting lineup for sure. We will have some changes uh, when we compare this starting lineup to to the first games. So, but uh, we will be ready also for the game uh, against Miami, and uh, we don't want to talk about after the game. Okay, some players um, were were not here with and uh, away with the national team. So no, we want to find our starting lineup that will be ready to to have a, a good performance, a very good performance, a good mentality, which we need then uh, against the top team uh, from uh, Inter Miami. We'll go back to Mark. Yeah. Coach, uh, Dennis Jengor had, a, I thought, a, a nice mm -hmm. first yeah. couple of minutes yeah. uh, uh, against Columbus, uh, had, a, had a decent attempt mm -hmm. goal. What did you see from him? Also good, a good reaction uh, in this week, um, and uh, you, you saw this also then, he, every training session is important for him to make steps in our idea how we want to play. And uh, so this is then also um, could be then also to be an option um, that he will start on, on Saturday. And uh, yeah, was good, good, good start in Columbus. And so it's not so easy to have the first minutes uh, and the result is 2-0, uh, 3-0 then also. But uh, um, the insights um, was, was good. Uh, we'll go to Gary Redman on Zoom. Coach, can you give us an update on uh, the progress with Serge Goma and Dante Van Zier, both uh, working with uh, hamstring injuries? Yeah. Um, same level. Both both uh, players, uh, they have the same level start. 
they started on uh, Tuesday the the team training sessions so um, we will see hopefully nothing will happen tomorrow in our last training and uh, they will be in our roster for for Saturday next we'll go to Daniel Reban on zoom how you doing coach uh, two two questions for me uh, or to, to start the season, Ibrahim Kasule with the twos has been excellent from the 10 position. Is there a possibility that he could get a call up as well with uh, Emil Forsberg out? And then also with AJ Marcucci, he's been great with the, the twos last season. This season, he already got a clean sheet. If he does get the start, what have you seen from him this this uh, preseason and uh, going, going forward this year? Yeah, uh, what I mentioned also in, in the first question here today in the, in the press conference with the goalkeeper situation, this is what we have to make the decision, uh, Ryan um, normally is our number two, so then he was out for 10 days in our in our team training, then the team training session was good, also in this week was good. AJ, his performance was uh, first of all very professional, this is, uh, this is very well, and also his performance uh, last Sunday um, against the second team of Columbus was was um, was good. So this is what we need, what we need from all players, and we have to make the decision now for for Saturday, um, Ryan or AJ. So this is then um, also to to have this conversation with our goalkeeper coach. Um, and uh, the first question was with about uh, Ibrahim Kasule. Yeah, Ibrahim Kasule. Yeah, and. He, the first <coughs> 10 days, two weeks was very good in our preseason, and then um, it's a normal development. Then uh, the intensity is higher in the first team. Then um, was a little bit then uh, tired. Then uh, the the third, the fourth weeks of the preseason, and uh, but it's uh, it's very close to our first team. So and this could be then the option to be to get a chance in our in our roster. I don't know if it's on on Saturday or the next week. Next, we've got a boss on Zoom. How's it going, Coach? Best of luck for the Saturday. And Thank just you. wanted to touch on one of the, the, not problems, but one of the difficulties that your team had last week was dealing with the two center midfielders, Aiden Morris and mm. Darlington Nagby. And with Federico Rodondo and Diego Gomez being out for into Miami, can you see your team maybe uh, mitigating those mistakes and trying to really take advantage of the fact that they're going to be a little shorthanded mm. as well? Yeah, I think it's very difficult to compare these uh, these both teams, um, Inter Miami and Columbus. Uh, Inter Miami, they they have a great and you know that also a great individual quality of these players. Uh, this is central midfield players, and especially also in their offense uh, with Suarez and also Campana Taylor will 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 play on on Saturday. So um, and the main problem. Against Columbus was not our 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 defense behavior, our defense structure. So um, we adapt this uh, our pressing on uh, on the last Saturday after ten minutes. So um, how we want to organize our defense behavior. The main problem, the main problem was to find um, the, our good positions for our built-up situations, and also then, and we had, and you see this also in the numbers, we had good recoveries. Uh, on on for to in, in the opponent's half and also in our half. So, but after these moments in in their counter pressing situations, we didn't find the good solutions um, to play away and also to have good good moments for us in our offense transition. And this was the this was the most the most part uh, of the game our our problems. And this is then what we have to learn against the top team, really top team. And what I said also before before the game against the top coach. This is what we all together, also me as a head coach, to learn and also to find a good structure and also in our built-up situation. And this was the main problem. And so and now it's it's a different game against Inter Miami. So this is the individual quality and also Busquets number six position very good in, in, in the built-up situation. So in this case we have to be careful. And, uh, but not to stay too deep and then to wait and only to have and to hope okay that we ha that we win the ball and then we have some good moments in our transition no, we, we need also our intensity our activity with the ball and and yeah and this is our 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 next step to to have this balance to have this mix in our defense and especially also in our offense behavior and this is what we have to learn and it was 
Yeah, after the game was not the best feeling for sure. The next uh, two days, also for me. So, but and this is what I have to accept. Then also, um, as a head coach, uh, to accept these these uh, games for the development for our next step. And this is yeah. And this was very clear also in our communication with the, with the team, with the whole team, to analyze this game and then directly to look forward for the next challenge against uh, Miami. Next word, Gustavo on Zoom. Coach, good afternoon. Thank you for your time. Uh, obviously, we know what Inter Miami possesses, all the quality that those players they have. My question is a specific regarding uh, Luis Suarez, who has been massive for them since they since joining the team. Do you have anything special uh, to at least lower the amount of touches he can uh, have during the match? Do you have anything special with your center backs in order to keep him under, try to keep him under control? To defend strong, first of all, this is. Uh, but it's this game is also also for me as a new as a as a head coach is is, is new because you don't know what happened on Saturday, and uh, we cannot make a typical analyze of the opponent because um, you have so many questions about the players who will play. And you have also so many questions which structure they will play. So, and you have two options. The, f the one option is uh, to think about okay, this will happen with Inter Miami, and this he will play. This this is the, this is the starting lineup of Inter Miami, and uh, but you you don't know 100%. So then you lose also energy for your team for yourself. So and and the other option is only to have the focus. Uh, on my team, on our team, so what, what we need um, for our best performance on Saturday. This is what we need against their quality. So, and especially against Suarez, yeah, he's, uh, he's, uh, his, his touch in the box is, is uh, high quality. So this is what we have to defend then in our box. And also um, with his first touch in the combination, then with the second striker maybe in their structure or with a 8-10 position. This is... What we what we have to defend, um, but not in a typical analyze uh, which we done uh, the weeks before because it's very yeah it's difficult what I said it's, you, you you don't know what happened really so we need our focus and our quality our performance our principles and yesterday what I saw from the, from the whole team from these 16 players here outside in our facility here in in Jersey was top. Top training, so and this is what we now to adapt and also on Saturday to to train with uh, with this energy. But yesterday was was top. We have time for two more questions with Coach. First, we'll go to Daniel Feuerstein, and then we'll finish up with Christian Ortiz. Daniel, you have the floor. Thank you, Sandro, for uh, joining us today. I uh, hope you're well. Um, if I can ask you a personal question, obviously oh. when you were managing. In the Bundesliga, the, the top managers there that you have to face and plan against. Do you relish an opportunity to face, um, you know, matching wits with Tata Martino at Inter Miami? <clears throat> yeah, this is this is a this is a top game on Saturday, but it's not. It's more top game two weeks um, ago because uh, and. We have we missed some players and also Inter Miami missed some players. So this is not now the the best team of Inter Miami from individual players and also not our. So, but uh, the competition is clear on Saturday. 2 p.m. is kickoff. So, and uh, the the main goal is to to get also three points. So with our 11 players, so against 11 players uh, of Miami. So uh, the same rules on Saturday like the first games. 11 against 11 so you can make uh, five subs so and this is this is our our claim also then to to have these um, yeah to have these uh, quality then also and to show this performance on on Saturday and uh, I don't want to compare now with with Germany or something like that no? and we'll finish up with Christian <coughs> Hi, good afternoon, Coach. Uh, my uh, two questions. The first one: Do you expect Julian Hall to earn some minutes in this game against Miami? And how would you describe this New York Red Bulls team that's going to face uh, one of the best teams in the league so far? First question: Very clear. Um, he will be in our roster, but I don't know what happened during the game. So, and uh, the second is um, one of the best teams. 
Yeah, Red, I don't, this is, this is our competition on Saturday. We want to show our best performance. And this is what I said also uh, last week. And uh, against Columbus was top team for me, top, top team, Columbus. And so, and this is what I, what I said also, that this, on, from this game we have to learn. So, but this is normal. This is, uh, this is necessary also when it's a tough game and you lose and it's not the best feeling after this game. And, uh, and now we have now our next um, challenge, uh, the next opportunity. Um, to get a better feeling after the game and, and not to think about the results, about our, our, our principles. And yeah, this is the chance which, which I feel, which the whole team uh, feel, uh, which we have on, uh, on Saturday.